I couldn't make it work, but I suspect you have a much better chance. You really think it's even... Passenger service bound for Heimdall, now arriving on Platform 2. We ask that all passengers wishing to board please wait on the platform until the train has come to a complete stop. That's us! I'm afraid we've got to run. May Adios be with you. Let's all do our very best. You bet. Take care, everyone. Bye. There you go. And the rest of us are stuck with those two. Help. I guess we should buy our tickets and line up for a Grayhar train then. Yes, let's. If we must. One well, loath for our patronize a city so crawling with nobles. <laughs> Good morning, class seven. Group A is headed to Berehard today, correct? Yes, that's right. I believe there's a direct line that stops at Celtic, isn't there? Indeed there is. Every other train heading east from here is a direct line. And the next one will be arriving soon, so I suggest you buy your tickets now. Five tickets. Certainly. That'll be five passengers for Berehard. I'll have those tickets for you in just a moment. Passenger service bound for Kelvick, Brehart, Platform 2. Alright, TLDR, time to go. Awkward. Feel the tension. Cut it with a knife. Um, shall we review what we know about where we're going? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Would you mind giving us an overhead? Jesus, we're from Brayhart City, after all. <laughs> if that's what you want, I'll oblige. But I'm sure you wouldn't rather hear from the group's finest intellectual mind instead. I'm sure he'd be able to give you a far more critical analysis without any of the pro-noble bias I'm certain to inject. Grr. Are you suggesting that I allow my views to cloud my ability to see things objectively? Oh, not at all. You were intelligent enough to score second on the entrance exam, after all. And you spend your every waking moment since with your nose glued to a textbook studying as if your life depended on it. So I'm sure your knowledge is quite vast in terms of book smarts even if it is lacking in virtual every other regard. Why you? Please stop, both of you. I'll see you to see why you scored so miserably in last month's field study. What was that? Hmm. Green? Last month, Group B got an E on their field study. If they had been on paper exam, it would have been a fail, and a low one, too. Do you two really want that to happen again? Well... I hope you're not naively suggesting we just put all our differences aside and become friends. Of course not. You were chosen to be in class 7 because of our differences, in fact. We come from different backgrounds, and naturally we're going to have conflicting opinions and ways of looking at things. And no doubt we all have a few beliefs that we're not willing to compromise on, no matter what. But that doesn't change the fact that for the next few days, we'll all be part of the same group. We're all partners. Hmm. I was wondering what you were getting at. You have to be joking. I refuse to accept the idea that... I'm not saying we have to be friends. 
and I'm saying we're in the same group and we're working toward the same objective, let me try putting it another way. We're united against the common enemy, Group B, and unless we want to lose to them, we have to work together here. What? Marine? I'm going to take you to be the competitive type. Of course I am. I just care about winning and losing just as much as the next guy, and get just as frustrated when other people hold me back. I'm jealous of how good your grades are, for example. All three of you. I feel like I'm losing the race and have to struggle to catch up. And it was beyond frustrating when we lost against the instructor the other day. Ah, I see. Hm. There's no denying that she's strong. Incredibly strong, in fact. I don't know what kind of experience or training she's been through to become that way, but it's a simple fact. I just feel like if we'd been worked together a little better, we might have formed a proper combat links with one another. It may have at least even the odds a little. We would have. Sarah's only strong because she knows how to fight. If you had been able to work together, you could have stood her onslaught a little longer. You might not have won, but you wouldn't have really lost either. He. Exactly. Alisa, Laurel, and Elliot are all in the same group as last time. And Guy seems to like the type who can work well with anyone. They'll be a strong team. Yeah, they'll be able to give their absolute best no matter what comes their way. Honestly, if we don't some do something about our own sweat comings, this school could easily double ours. Enough! I get it already! It's not like I have much of a choice to go along with your yay team attitude now, do I? Indeed, I would prefer not to cooperate with this farce, but I have no intention of standing by and accepting defeat. So you're saying, until this trip is over, we will call the truce. Agreed. <laughs> very well. The very notion of working under these conditions is ludicrous, but I am more than capable of enduring such idiocy if I must. The same goes for me. <sighs> well, at least it seems they might actually try to cooperate with one another this time, right? That's a significant improvement over last month. I do feel a little better. This is an improvement? I shudder to think of what things must have been like last time. This is your main line. Alright, here's what I can tell you. The Rayahard is the most important city in the eastern province, province, province. Its population is roughly 300,000, making it relatively large even by municipal standards. The hilly region surrounding the city is inhabited by innumerable minks, which are prized for their fur. Furthermore, the Cruzian province as a whole is widely renowned for the high quality gemstone mines there. Yes, gems and fur are regarded as Berehart's two main specialties. There's even a part of the city dedicated solely to those who work with them, isn't there? That would be the Artisan Street in South Berehart, yes. A large number of artisans gather there to prove their worth. There's a shop in Heimdall that specializes in gems produced in Berehart as well. Of course, only nobles and the ridiculously wealthy have any reason to patronize it. Can't see myself ever going there. Which brings up perhaps the most important thing to note. A fact of which you're already quite aware, but it can't be stressed enough. Rayahard is, at heart, a city of nobles. What's been said about it in that regard is no exaggeration. That's really true, huh? I've heard nobles don't actually make up the majority of the population, though. That's correct. However, from Artisan Street to the enormous provincial army guardhouse, the central plaza with its giant cathedral to the airport designed to handle the largest of airships. Berehard is a city that was developed with the nobility and the Alberia House, hold in particular, at its center. So, it really is an exaggeration then. I'm surprised you're able to discuss your own family so objectively. There's no point in denying the truth. I 
As long as we're in Moria Hard, you'd be well advised to keep your usual anti-noble troll to yourself. Unless your fans are becoming very friendly with the provincial army at any rate. I know that. I can hold my tongue when I have to. <laughs> Isn't it bad that I'm kind of actually seeing this as a kind of encouraging? In a weird sort of way, it feels like we're making progress. I, have, I hate having to cooperate with him, but I don't want to be the one responsible for losing to Group B. Suppose I'll have to recruit the college with you too. I almost forgot that Maki's had a problem with me. Listen, I'm sorry about... I don't actually think you're a deceitful noble sympathizer, so there's no need to say anything. But don't get the wrong idea. I'm only agreeing to a truth. I haven't forgiven you for what you did. That's more than enough. Thanks, Machias. Why are you thanking me? <laughs> it's like he really doesn't hate me after all. If only I could find some way to make up with him entirely. Thank you so much, Reen. I knew Gaius was right about me. What do you mean? At the station, he said, if anyone can do it, it's you, remember? I didn't do anything special, though. I just gave them my honest opinion. And that's exactly why I think you were able to successfully convince them. I guess it's up to us now to make sure we don't let the group down. We won't. I'm sure of it. What are you two whispering about? <laughs> it is rather suspicious. Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> I wasn't expecting their return to Berehard so soon. It's been about two months now since we started the Academy. I guess it hasn't been long enough yet for you to miss it, huh? <laughs> Indeed. In two months, there's hardly enough time for anything to truly change. <laughs> That's very true. Still, the city full of nobles. I get the feeling I'm going to be a lot more conscious of the things I say and do. Nobles do have quite a fixation with social standing and class. But you should not... You should not try to let it get to you. Just be yourself. If you exert too much energy reigning in your every word and action, you won't be able to get anything done. That's good advice. Thanks. If you, ha if you have any more like it, I'm sure we'd really appreciate it. We'll be, reigning, be relying on your knowledge of the city. You're in good hands, then. Um, is something the matter? I underestimated you a little. <laughs> Thanks, I guess? Still, the hard part will be keeping this up for the whole of our field study. We're going to need to get a whole lot stronger if we want to have a better chance against the instructor next time. If you want to beat Sarah, a little extra training won't be enough. True, we were completely outclassed by her last time. I wonder what sort of regiment she underwent to wind up so strong. Let's just see who she is. Sounds like we know something. Maybe we can get her to open up someday. Alright, let's play Blade. Count, we'll play one round with everybody. I'm not so going to hold back. Well then, go ahead and draw. It looks like you're up first. We're even. We'll have to redraw. I'll go first then. <coughs> four. We're even. We'll have to redraw. I'll go first then. Boom. Take this. Seven. Let's do five. Mirror. Done it. Uh, let's see now. I need now. Gotta go. Need to go home. Damn it! I lose. <laughs> Looks like I win this time. Badly. I typically am trying to uh, pace, but. <laughs> Please go easy on me. No such luck, kid. Shall we draw then? Ah, oh, we have the same score. Let's draw again. Allow me to play first then. I'm gonna use a bolt card. I will do this one. I'm gonna use a bolt card. Key when you're bolt, bitch. 
I'm gonna use a bolt card. Oh, come on. Sorry, I'm using a mirror. Mm. Ouch, I wasn't expecting that. Take that. Just a couple of mirrors. Take this. Oh no, this could be trouble. Oh, we have the same score. Damn it. Let's draw again. Just more thought I could actually, you know, win. Oh, we have the same score. Oh come score. on, I'm bringing all my again. cards. Am I supposed to win this score. damn thing? Let's draw again. Allow oh, me to play first then. Oh, we have the same score. Let's draw again. Oh no, you beat me. Oh, I won. Yay! Finally. Jeez, about time. Alright, use this. If we have to. Draw, go away. Draw a card. I'll be going first. Take this. Take this. Take this. Take this. Got a. Uh, we'll do this one then. Take oh, this. Playing another bolt. Yep. Go ten. Eleven. Bolt. Now you've done it. And go in there. Not when you least expected. I'll play my last mirror. My victory was assured from the start. No! Oh, so when your hand runs out, then you game. Let the battle begin. Uh, I knew I should have gone with my mirror when I had the chance. We draw here, right? I'm first. Take this. Take this. Take this. You and your bolts, damn it. Take this. This. I don't want to waste all my good cards. Mirror. Mirror. Crap. Yeah, that's what I thought. Guess we'd better draw again. You're first, I guess. Mm. Crap. <clears throat> guess I lost. Aha! I must save. Time is it. Through the granary region. What a beautiful view. <laughs> Look, you can see a few steeples in the distance. That's pretty hard. Indeed. We should be there in roughly an hour now. We may yet arrive by noon after all. Lord Eusis, welcome back to Berehard. It's a pleasure to see you again. Amazing. 
missing. <laughs> I can't believe all the station employees would abandon their duties to come and welcome him. He's a real VIP. I've returned here as a student of Thor's military academy to conduct a field study. I believe you were informed that this manner of excessive welcome is neither necessary nor desired. Were you not? Well, well yes, but... You're a child of the Alborea household. If anything, we should be apologizing for not giving you an even greater welcome. Please, allow me to carry your luggage. We would be honored to carry the belongings of your classmates as well. <sighs> what are you gonna do, Jesus? Huh? Lord Rufus? Uh... Rufus? What? My beloved brother, it's a pleasure to see you again. To think it's been three months. Where did the time go? I wasn't expecting to reunite with you so soon, but I'm delighted to have the opportunity. As am I. You seem well. I take it these are your fellow members of Class 7? That's right. Yes, that's correct. You know about us? Of course. I've read all about you in my brother's letters. He writes about us? Where Rufus are Alvarea. my manners, though? My name is Rufus Alvarea. Eusus is my younger brother. You needn't hide your shot. It would come as no surprise at all to learn that my brother has never once mentioned me. He is, after all, quite easily embarrassed. <laughs> That's not... <laughs> He's being toyed with. I can hardly oh, yeah. believe my ears. What happened to the arrogant young upstart we've come to know and mostly tolerate? Ah, but I digress. This is no time for idle chatter. Because it's his natural environment, I came if you will. to escort you to your lodgings for the weekend. W wait, you don't mean... <laughs> the car is parked outside. Welcome to the verdant city of Bereahard. I hope you enjoy your stay, ladies and gentlemen of Class 7. Seems a decent fellow. An expansive city. Unlike Trost. Or Trista. I don't know why I said Trost. See, so the one responsible for selecting our tasks this time around was Rufus. Indeed, I selected them on behalf of my father. Allow me to present you with this field task. Field study envelope for me. Thank you. It really is a fascinating coincidence. I never imagined my younger brother would become classmates with the son of Lord Schwarzer. Huh? You know my father? Certainly. Why not? Baron Theo Schwarzer is an old acquaintance of mine. Many years ago, I accompanied him to a falconry competition held in the suburbs of Heimdall. He taught me much about the practice and its etiquette. So you're a falconer. That's interesting. Why, that must have been ten years ago now. Is he doing well these days? <laughs> yes, he's quite well. And still just as fond of hunting as ever. Splendid, splendid. <laughs> and you must be the son of Governor Regnitz, no? Man, Rufus is good. That's correct. I'm surprised you knew. Indeed. I encounter him quite often when taking care of official matters in the capital. Though our positions may be different, he has given me excellent advice in the past. I feel it must be fate that you two would end up in my younger brother's class. Please do try and get along with him. Uh, uh, I will consider the possibility with an open mind. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. That's about as good as you're going to get from you. And I would from be remiss pocket. if I were not to acknowledge our two beautiful ladies. No doubt your presence brings a touch of elegance to my younger brother's academic life. Uh, he's not really one to engage in fraternizing oh, with the girls. I'm honored you would say so. It's nothing like that. Can we please stop discussing me? <laughs> nope, not a, not a chance. 
It's the oldest family's duty to uh, unsettle the youngers, I suppose. When you say lodgings, better phrase. you can't possibly be referring to... <laughs> Need you even ask? Naturally, you'll all be staying at the Alberea family mansion. But... <laughs> I jest. Father's instructions were that I should do with you as I wish. So, considering the circumstances of your visit, I've had a hotel room prepared. That way you'll be able to concentrate more easily on your field study, no? Oh, thank you. I truly appreciate it. Mm hmm? I wonder what that is all about. Mm. I'm afraid we'll need to end our charming repartee here, however. For I can see your hotel coming into view now. Yeah, he seems well mannered or versed in terms of building rapport. It's almost effortless. He seems the type, he seems a decent guy. I'd like, thank you for the escort. Thank you very much for arranging a hotel for us. I'm truly grateful for your kindness. Oh, think nothing of it. Under ordinary circumstances, I would have invited you to a banquet this evening. But unfortunately, I have business I must attend to in Heimdall after we're finished here. In Heimdall? Will you be going by airship? Indeed, I'm representing our father. <laughs> don't tell me. You're going to be all lonely and blue without me. <sighs> Surely you just... <laughs> may not be the most affable person, but please, do try to extend your kindness to my brother. And the God's blessings be with you. I pray that your field activities are fruitful. So that was Rufus Alberia. I've heard rumors about him. They say he's the ace of the noble faction. Meeting him in person, it's easy to see where that reputation originated. He seemed rather like a charming person, projecting both intelligence and kindness. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he made a point of showing consideration for my dad too, even though he's a low-ranking noble. And he effortlessly thrust Yusus into the role of cute little brother. <laughs> I would have preferred you not to have seen that. Though I must admit, I wasn't expecting him to leave Rayhart just as we arrived. How unfortunate. Mm hmm? What do you mean? Nothing that concerns you. We should check in with the hotel and begin our work. Wait. Come on, let's go drop off our things. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. Though the thought of actually staying in a hotel this high class is kind of intimidating. Off we go. This who? It's truly an honor that our humble establishment should have the opportunity to greet a member of the esteemed dukes, sparing the formalities. We came here merely to drop off our belongings, after which point we'll be leaving again immediately. Please show us to our rooms. As you wish. You'll allow me to escort you to the western wing, and we'll have a fine suite prepared for you. We have individual rooms reserved for each of your classmates as well. Wait. I believe I told you before that we're here solely for our duty, our studies. Success of hospitality is neither required nor appreciated. Poor Lord Jesus, I must insist. Don't make me repeat myself. We require only two rooms, one for boys and one for girls. Will that be okay with you all? That works for me. It's more than enough. It's fine. <laughs> of course, we're students. We should be treated as such. Finally, start working on our field tests now. I think. Good. We wasted more than enough time as it is. All right. Here goes. 
Making a study day one, assign tasks. Arx Canyon Monster. Our monster has been seen roving the Arx Canyon path. The cruising individual army would like to be eliminated. Bait Spinner. Top a cliff part way along the Arx Canyon path. Once the mother has, monster has been extinguished, please report to the soldiers at Arx Fort. Put a ring on it. Find a peculiar semi. <coughs> Excuse me, dang it, it's not. A semi precious stone. Talk to me at Turner's Jewelers. I did the bath salts. Really? Most of family even bathes in style, so why not use the most famous bath salts, which we're unfortunately running low on? Will someone procure them for us? Respect your fancy farming in the terrace. The Surrey Restaurant. 100 cell radius north and east of Freyhard. Each student must record the daily basis or daily activities and to be remitted at the instructor request. One request from a noble followed by one from an artisan. They certainly keep things interesting. Yeah, they seem to have struck the perfect balance here. Monster one sounds irritating. What do they mean by report to Arx Fort on this one? Arx Fort sits on the opposite side of Oros Canyon, a provincial army base originally built in the Middle Ages. Our quest must have come from there. Sounds like trouble to me. We should probably save that one for last, just to be on the safe side. I advise that regardless, the path through the canyon is long and treacherous. We should complete our other tasks before we venture that way, lest we run out of time. Yes, let's do that. Fine by me? <laughs> I have no objections either. Alright then, let's get started. I'm sure Elisa and the others are working hard on their own task as we speak, and we can't let them beat us. So let's give this our all. Right. Okay. Of course. I give you my word. Alright, so we're gonna examine the hotel for a second. See if there's anything interesting in this our room. I believe this is the boys' room. Yes. Magnificent room. I'm making a small banquet to make up for it. <laughs> Just treat us like the other guests, damn it! It's our policy too. Must I repeat myself? Understood. This family really is influential, aren't they? Perhaps a bit too much in this case. <laughs> you can tell they like to flatter the foul. Top. Hotel Esmeralda. They have a piano. Oh, and they have a cello. I don't want to kind of press I can get back here. I bet Ellie would have a head on that thing. <laughs> How much money do I have? Not a lot. Okay. Who's this a statue of? Seems to be a statue of Saint Veronica. Oh, you know of her? Oops. No! Did I do the thing? So it goes up, I suppose? You know of her? Oh, I wanted to hear the end of that. Damn it. Oh well. Those Surrey restaurants. This is where one of our requests was. Very posh. This restaurant's pretty big. <laughs> I feel like we're a little out of place here. And yet this pales in comparison to the restaurants dedicated to the nobles. I usually come here frequently before I started attending the academy. Must be good if you're a regular. 
Must be a gathering place for haughty nobles then too. <laughs> Feel free to wait outside for us if you wish. I'll have to give my regards to the owner as well. Oh? Is that a slight smile I saw there? Could have been. Can you say, allow me to. Oh, it's Lord Eusis. <laughs> I didn't even notice it was you because of your school uniform. I see we haven't changed much. But of course. I'm still going at it with my cooking studies too, so please feel free to give me some of my dishes a try. Hello, Lord Eusis. It's been a while. One of my assignments at the Academy has led me to return here briefly, so I saw fit to show my face here. Things are going well for you here. I'm glad. I assume you must all be Lord Eusis' classmates then. I'm pleased to see that many of you have been able to make so many friends at the Academy. They're only classmates, not friends. They look close. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna get this close to someone by frequenting their restaurant, though. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Hamon, and I'm the owner and head chef of this restaurant. I don't know why he went French all of a sudden. I intend to continue delivering the highest quality food. So, uh, uh, is that French? That might not be French. <laughs> Maybe it was out back. Oh, we have an exclamation mark. Give me the thing. Puppy! Doggy! Excuse me, can we talk to you a moment? Ah, my those be the uniforms from Thor's military academy? I assume you must be the students for Rufus Mansion men? What's this all about? Lord Rufus asked me to give some work to some students who come along here for some manner of field study using. Well, in truth, he asked my father first, but he's as busy as he ever was. The request was passed on to his heir. In other words, me. Oh, oh that sounds rather exciting. Doesn't it? Now I'll take a guess at what I came up with. Oh, you're such a tease. Might I have some time to think about it? Um... So... What exactly was your request? You dare interrupt our conversation? You commoners truly really have no courtesy, do you? It's only natural to wait for those to to finish their con- Oh my! What's the matter? Oh, my Jesus! I had no idea you were here with these commoners! Well, I am. Do you still wish for us to remain quiet while you continue with this nonsense? Uh, of course not. We would never be so crass. Yeah, sure about that. Roll a bluff. And roll high. I could get used to this. Why can't he just stand there where he could see them in the first place? Well, what is it you're looking for? Your request stated that you want some kind of bath salt. Well, you see, I'd like to request you procure some pink salt for us. I see. That's a rather difficult request. Fret not then, I can change the request if you wish. That won't be necessary. A request is a request. Is it that hard to find? That's not the issue. We need to make our way through the canyon east to find it, much like we need to do for that monster. It's closer to Arx Fort than it is to the city, so it won't be an easy journey. Why are they putting salt in the bath, though? The salt in the bath water warms the body. I don't really care for it, but it seems to have some positive health effects. Sounds like something only nobles could afford to do. <laughs> well, either way, we know exactly where we need to go now. Yeah, let's get the request from Arden Street South before making our way over there, though. That's what I just did. Yep, yes it is. Arden Street, where art thou? I'm gonna go this way. Main district? How many districts are there? Oh, noble district. This seems to be the city's noble quarter. No wonder most of these houses look so overblown and excessive. My heart is always so peaceful this time of year. So peaceful, in fact, that it makes me want to doze off. Don't you agree, Bootsy? This is the Berehard's guardhouse? Indeed it is. So this is where your family's personal army hangs out. There's no need to be so blunt. She's not wrong. My family is responsible for the army's upkeep and operations after all. It's quite a lot it's quite leverage for our benefit. Lord Eusis! Welcome back! 
Here we go again. <laughs> it's an honor to be able to see you again. Is there some things that we can help you with? Not as much. However, I did happen to hear about your activities in Keldic. Might you care to explain the army's questionable actions of late? Well, we weren't aware of such things. Useless. Fine. However, be sure not to forget what your duty as soldiers is. Understood? Understood. Please take care. Useless. Guess that's what about happened during our group's A's last field study? Indeed. Not what I expect to have any effect whatsoever. Let's return to the task at hand. Yeah. We don't need you to order us around. Nothing else here. There's a building here we can go into. Residence. Random chitlins! Chateau keeps chasing me. He says I'm a monster. He's a monster. He's roaring at me. <laughs> I gotta run away. We're here. I'm a monster. Roar! Dining room. And with the misses, I assume? Oof. I appreciate it. We'll sit down and throw some tea. Having to know how to brew some delicious herb tea, too. Here, allow me to teach you. Oh, sweet! New recipe, woot woot! Um. Well, if I must. I can't. I was gonna pick Lisa, but I can't. Outcome. Healthy liqueur. Why are you putting liqueur and tea? Oh, good day, Lord Jesus. It's been around a year since we hit. Good day to you, Baron Hancock. I hear things are going well for you in your land. <laughs> we did happen to find some material in our mines. That may have been due to Adios' whims. I hear of you enrolled at Thorns. That academy is a fine environment for cultivating the body and mind. I hope you'll make use of your time there. That was my intention. So maybe it's not a bad idea to poke around people's houses. Give me some recipes, maybe. Oh my, if it isn't Lord Jesus, I wasn't aware that you had returned home. I'm pleased to see you again after so long. Likewise. This does tend to be the time of year when Baron Hancock comes here now that I think about it. Indeed, it's tradition for us to leave Lord Hancock's territory and stay in this villa at this time of year. Lord Hancock will need to report on the running of this territory to his grace, too, so I expect we will be visiting soon. There's not much else telling me that, as you can see. Go ahead and inform our butlers instead. Ah, yes, my apologies. You have returned as part of your academic studies, I believe. I wish you well. Somewhat fascinating to see a textbook of our class conversation taking place right before you. Just hearing them makes me nauseous. What about. Can I go? Nope. Cannot go. Game said no. Goth. Wait, this leads to. Huh? What's wrong? Y never mind. Oh, good day, Lord. You let me open the gate for you. There is no need. I was just stopping by. Does Father remain in good health? As always, yes. Please receive you. You seem to be in good health yourself. Thanks. This is uses his home. It doesn't seem like he wants to go back, though. I wonder why. I figured, with that steep incline, and the guardhouse and everything, yeah, it's gotta be. This is the one I should check out, though. Uh, this way leads to Master Gorsi's private room. Unless you have an appointment, we're afraid to stay away. Goth, get out! Get out! Get through the chopper! A terrible impersonation. But a terrible impersonation is what I do, I guess. Ooh, can we go fishing? Hey, ooh, this looks like a nice spot. 
All right. Let's see what we can do. I haven't. I'm surprised I haven't run, run into the fisherman. Oh, we're getting fancy. We got three or four buttons now. Definitely a new fish. Not bad. Honor carp. Wind sabbath. Huh. Here we go. Another one. And yeah, the nice thing is the cursor will end up going a little bit toward the direction the fork disappears. So that's kind of what I'm reading. You'll see. It kind of... My next catch will kind of go down or to the side. As opposed to just blinking out like straight, <laughs> it kind of shifts a little bit and as it fades. <coughs> Makes it easier. Alright, so we'll be done here for now. I do want to get that chest though. We'll figure it out. It might be on the other side maybe? Is there. I wonder if there's a. Way to go down. This must be it. It should run me all the way across. In theory. Why is it locked? Why does it lead to anyway? So it might be a mini dungeon of some kind. I'm guessing. And that has a gate that leads out to the other side of the underbridge. And I'll need to get that chest. Christie's Galleria. Whoa, forgot how big this store is. This place is huge. Oh, it did, Lord Jesus. It's always an honor to have for us to serve the needs of the Alborea family. Did there have be an issue with any of our products, perhaps? Huh? Oh, I see. This is the store we got our furnishings from, isn't it? Worry not. I'm not here on personal. I'm here on personal business today. I should. If that's the case, please take your time. That was quite a conversation. Seems they like to flaunt their influence all over town. Welcome to Henderson and Co. Can you receive in this team? Please from the Sutherland and Province and talk to the first Alien Fragrance. Oh, look at all this stuff. It's all fancy. Expensive too, I expect. How many? Wow, this has got two exits. Whoa. Good day, Lord Uses. It's always an honor to have your patronage here. Please take your time and pursue, peruse our selection. You're gonna make an order? Come to pick up your goods? Oh, my apologies. I assume you're here for tailoring. Please take your time to look around. Oh, it's closed. Armor? Hey! Fiber Guard! Oh, we'll lose that on. Yeah worth it. As for the energy bandana... Uh, it's a plus five for uses in the girls. But it's... Or no, it's... Actually, it's 15 for me. Interesting. Alright. I don't have the money. Can I sell anything? What does insulating tape do? Here is mute, but I don't know what the icons are. Got a lot of eye drops though. I could probably part with a few of them. Part with a few antidotes too. And I'm not really. What about old weapons? Leather guard, yeah, I can sell old leather guard. Other shoes, I might have need of those. I got one of everything else. Oh, fortune. Oh, 
Oh, cool, I got a Medal of Fortitude. I wonder if I can get... I can sell it? Wow. Kind of like a prize school award. I'm surprised I'd be able to sell it. I figured it would have been more like a quest item or like a key item. A lot of games will do that. They'll have certain items that have a, a specific category. Oh. Can I... Let me go to items. Um... Can I... Can I use... Oh, that's how I have to use the cookbooks to... That's how I do it. So I buy the cookbooks, and then I have to use them. That would have been nice to know beforehand. I thought they were for, um, uh, for brownie points, I guess, for lack of a better phrase. For, uh, for, uh, bond points. We've done tomato sandwich. Some sandwiches. Let's put chords with a variety of music about. I should chat with Elliot about some of these. Oh, yeah, see, there you go. Sweet. Alright. So basically, read all of the books. A lot of information on the brand. She give me something to talk more about. There we go. Turn in all these books. Some of the nice paintings in here. I should tell guys about this sometimes. Our tree would be for Elisa. Are we really still level 1? No, I was going to say, wait, hold on a second, I know we were level 2. We shot in the day. Oh. Fish for out where Oh, okay, it's a fish thing. Or it's a fancy fish thing. Part of napping. Spreading detail on how to have really refreshing naps. It's like one feet. <coughs> she would want. Yep. Yeah, that's right. I was gonna say I thought they were for that uh, for the people, but all right, I think that's all of them. Cool. Last month, the only Cindy nobles and their servants has been what days and ever since. Oh. I have one in my inventory, and again, one in my inventory. Actually, let me check and see what I already have, because I might not need it. So I my equip. I'm confused. DEF. Minus farm on... Hmm. I'm going down. Go tap minus five on defense. Match defense would go up and speed would go down. And that's maybe not worth it. However, oh, she doesn't have anything, that's why. Do defense. Start with defense and straight now. Nah, don't really need straight. Ooh. Yeah, normal. Well, good arc accuracy. Seems like something she was. She was directing me as a type to be hit fast and dodge fast. She didn't want to hit 
maybe hard, but it's just gonna run around circles around you. Tough to catch. Sucks. Um, Alright, wait. Oh, that looks good. South Soul. That'll work. Defense Faint and Strength plus 5, sure. Go prevent confuse just in case. Good looking crew. I might have to actually go farm for money. Oh, weapons. I wasn't expecting there to be horse tech here as well. It's almost like a source specifically for horseback riding. Indeed, horseback riding and hunting are both still popular here after all. This also happens to be the best swift for hunting related tools too. It's an honor to hear those words from Lord uses himself. We also have a range of arms manufactured by the Redford Company, should you be interested in those. Let's see here. I have zero money for any of his stuff, so... You're gonna have to wait, what's horseman's tab? Oh, the equipment, alright. What's here? Ooh, more books. Alright, let's get out of here. Blow this pop stand. Rare hard station. Is this the way that I went? Oh, it's Lord Uses. Lord Uses. Wow, it really is. I'm sorry we didn't notice you. We were just reading a book. Why not? I see you're still taking good care of your brother. Mom and Dad are working at the mansion again, so the two of us end up alone during the afternoon. That's why we're both waiting here for them to finish. Guess what? I know how to wait patiently now. <laughs> is that so? You're both worthy of praise then. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. I have to leave now, but sure to watch out for cars. Don't run into the road either. We'll be careful. Bye bye! He's popular with the kids, isn't he? No one expected this. Do you care to give us your thoughts on this, Marcus? Not really, no. Besides, he's still far too blunt, even with children. Cease your gibbering. We have business to attend to. Oh, this is the highway. I'm not ready to go into the highway just yet. I need to find the artisan. Is it artisan? No, station. Wait. Central Plaza. Artisan Street. Where does this? This is the Bray Heart Central Plaza. Okay. This street seems kind of different from the others. This is Artisan Street, where craftsmen and merchants ply their trades. Davos Factory. What is this? Uh, armor? Well, if it isn't Lord Eusis, what are you doing here? <laughs> That's quite the greeting. My brother made mention the fact that you would be in charge of our Arcus, is that correct? It is. I'd appreciate if he didn't expect an old guy like me to get used to all this new technology, though. But seeing as it's Lord Roof, it's worth talking about. I'm willing to look past the inconvenience. Regardless, at least allow me to offer my apologies. Hurry up and tell me your business, then. I've got plenty of other things to be doing. Customatize. Oh. I need those weapons from the other shop. Which means I definitely need money. Okay. Modify. Slots. 